the greater good. Hey everybody, Greater Good Mining here. You've probably seen me messing around with this 220 volt power meter in some of my other videos. If not, you should watch those videos. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to build it. Uh, it's very useful if you're a miner or if you just want to see anything that you're trying to power off 220, how many watts it's pulling. Uh, I'm not an electrician. This is not electrical advice. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. All right, let's get started. So this cable I bought off Amazon, it's a 10 gauge cable, um, 220. You get whatever's appropriate for your application. Um, it's gonna come with a green wire, black wire, white wire. And we're gonna feed the cable through this cable grip nut to get started. There's a little rubber washer on there that helps hold the cable in place. Okay, now we're gonna grab our plastic box. We need to put the nut on to hold this in place so we can feed the wires through. Okay, now we're gonna feed the wires through the top of that. myself plenty of slack so I can show you the next step or start connecting the wires okay I've got my 220 30 amp plug and I'm going to connect these three wires the black is hot and the white wire is hot you'll see I electrical taped some black onto the white wire and this little jumper cable you're gonna need a jumper cable for each side and I like to electrical tape my white wires if they're gonna be hots on a 220 just to signify that those are hot wires so um, you'll see uh, in the next step I'll have the green wire connected to the ground here I'll have the white wire connected to this silver screw here with the jumper cable connected at the same time and then you'll see the black cable and if you saw my other video remember I use black donut on the black cable you have to put it over the black cable before you connect it you'll connect the black cable to the brassy looking screw and you're gonna connect the black jumper to that same spot so in the next step you'll see all these wires connected already Okay, we've got the plug wired up with our jumpers. Remember we're saying black wire to black wire, black jumper is gonna go on the brass looking screw. White wire, white jumper on the silver looking screw. Even though these are both hots, I just like to do it that way. And your ground is to the green screw. Next, we're gonna mount the 220 plug to the face plate. Make sure your greater good mining sticker is facing out, top tip. All right, um, we're gonna use some screws that they provided and a nut to mount this. Boom, it's mounted. So next we're going to wire up the Drock power meter. So in my other video, I remind people that that little dot on the right means your screen is upright. So if you wanna orient this a certain way because you're gonna mount it to the wall, remember the dot on the right means your screen is upright. I don't like popping this in here before I wire it up. A lot of other people's videos, you might see that. It's so much easier just to wire it without it, um, you know, in, inside of there and right up against your plug. You need a little wiggle room and a little room to run your wires. So uh, next up, I'll show you how to wire up the Drock power meter. Okay, bring your wires through the front of the faceplate here. Your donut here, where the green wire's coming off of it, is what we're gonna wire up first. Just make sure the ends are stripped. And we're gonna connect the green wires to the blue side of the Drock power meter. All right, 
our green wires are attached from the donut to the blue side of the drop power meter. Next, we're going to attach our two hots, the white and the black jumper that we made to the green side of the drop power meter. Okay, we're all wired up here. We're gonna pop the drop power meter through the front of the faceplate. Like I said, dot on the right, face, facing up right. Should just clip right in. Okay, so next we're going to screw the power meter into the box here um, and just secure it. I'm gonna orient mine a different way from what you've seen in my other videos. Um, with the cable coming out the top, the box is a little top heavy. Giggity. So I'm gonna have it just coming out the side. Uh, that way it doesn't try to tip over as easily. Okay, we're gonna screw in the four case plate screws and then we're going to tighten up our cable gland here. Okay, we've got our face plate screwed on. Cable is secured. The last important step is we gotta peel our greater good mining sticker off here. Maybe we can put it somewhere cool, like on a workbench. All right, let's plug it in and let's see what kind of power this rig's pulling here. Okay, the rig is booting up. So far pulling 124 watts. Uh, and we are gonna be mining Caspa for now. Um, speaking of mining Caspa, I'm going to be hopefully receiving my Ice River KS1 and KS0 soon. And I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos on that as soon as I receive it. I'm gonna be um, updating this channel frequently. So hit the like button and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more about the KS1 and KS0 from Ice River. And don't forget, keep it decentralized for the greater good. The greater good.